What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. And today we play Silent Still. Now look, I shot this intro after I've played the game. This one's good, and it hit home with the real fear that I actually have. Sleep paralysis. Something I never want to experience. Something that actually keeps me from falling asleep at night. Because I've read too many stories about the old hag. Welcome to one of my worst fears. The name is Mad Max, and I hope you enjoy the show. There we go. Oh, dude, look at this. This is freaking nice. In here. Nothing. Our kitchen's a little small. We got a light switch in here. It's not really a kitchen. We don't have a fridge. What do we do? Oh, there's our fridge. <laughs> Put your bags on the couch. My wife would kill me if I did that. Alright, I need to pee badly. <laughs> what are we playing? I don't know where my bathroom is. Uh... It's a little bitty freaking bathroom. We, oh, we do have a shower. Just no shower curtain. We shut that. <laughs> that was a good flow. I don't understand though. It's always better to turn off all the bathroom lights. This month's bill is ridiculously high. Well, should we turn all the lights out then? All right, well. We go this way. Oh, our books are on the shelf. We're not a very tidy people. Like, this whole house is tidy, except for the fact that we throw our clothes on the couch and we have books everywhere. Got a sweet plant, though. And we said we're tired, so we just go to sleep? No? Didn't miss anything, did I? Space to change clothes. We're gonna put on our jammy jams. All right, I guess we're ready for bed now. To turn off the light in this room so I can sleep easily. Okay. Guess it doesn't mean the closet light. We kind of leave our night light on. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was someone standing there. God, I'm so tired. I need a good night's sleep for work tomorrow. Left mouse button to open and close eyes. What the hell? We're sleeping. Chapter one, the first experience. Oh God, it's starting. <sighs> What's going on? Oh, I can't. Oh wait, I can't move or speak. Hello? Huh? There's no voice coming out of my mouth. What should I do? Am I really awake? Ah! Help! 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 What's happening? Is that light off? Hello? Is there? 
I can say things. Oh God. <gasps> oh. Help. Help me, Tom Cruise. <gasps> oh God. Why are lights turning off? Why can't I just close my eyes? Oh my god, dude, what is about to happen? <gasps> Ma'am? Sir? Who's that in the kitchen? Nope. Nope. Go away. <gasps> oh my god, she's gonna be right in front of me. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, <gasps> is that her freaking leg? Look. Holy fuck. Hey, who are you? It's an old hag. Don't touch me. Hey, answer me. What the? Oh, God. Please don't. Oh, my God. I'm going to turn left or right. She's going to be standing right there. <gasps> nope. I'm not moving. Oh, I can't help myself. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is the worst. <gasps> oh, thank you. <laughs> She's not standing there. <gasps> oh, no. It made me move. Oh, my. Dude, I freaking hate this. This sucks so bad. Please stop. Please stop. I'm gonna look. I know I'm gonna turn left or I'm gonna turn right. It's gonna be sitting there. God. Just make it stop. Can I close my eyes? E, try to move your body. Oh. Let's get out of it. Wake. Up. We can do it. Oh. <gasps> it's not working. I still can't move. Please, God, no. Oh, no. <gasps> no. Oh, God, I hate it. It made me look. It's going to be to my left. Ah, don't do it. <gasps> oh, my God. No. 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 Oh God. It's super dark. I don't want to look. I'm going to close my own eyes. <laughs> I'm going to close my own freaking eyes. Wake up. Wake up. Oh. Oh. Let me get up. I still feel like I hear something. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Let me get up. Let me get up. Oh, it says, wait, what's that? I know it's just a dream, but it feels so real. I don't want to do this anymore. Oh. Three days later. What is sleep paralysis? So that was it. Sleep paralysis, huh? God, that really terrifies me. Andrew Toxic. I'm hungry. I should eat before going to sleep. Look, I don't even want to sleep. Let's go take some caffeine pills. Oh my. I'm just guessing we're going to go into the fridge. Oh. I heard something. What are we gonna take? We got some ground beef. 
we're gonna take whatever the hell that was. Oh. I should consider buying a microwave. This food is cold as ice. We don't have a microwave. So we got some beer to wash it down. All right, let's eat. Nom, 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 nom. That was kind of weird. Okay. God, I'm so full. I already feel sleepy. Oh, boy. We're going to wash our plate. I guess not. Can we just go to sleep? I can't sleep with the lights on. Yeah, we can. We totally can sleep with the lights on. Oh, I don't want to do this again. I don't want to do this again. Oh. That experience still terrifies me. And I don't want to go through it again. Yeah, then let's just go take some caffeine pills. Some coke. Hit it twice to sleep. Okay. We're going to sleep. Chapter 2. Out of body experience. Man, screw that. F, not again. Am I experiencing that thing again? It looks like it. I'm all thirsty. Don't do it. Oh, God. This is terrifying as hell. I need to wake up. Yeah, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Let me do it. What do we do? Try to move your body. Yes. Move it. Move it. I can do it. I can over. Come, we can beat it right now. Oh, no, I can't. It's still not working again. I still can't move. This one sucks so bad. Oh, no. I don't know what to do. I'm just looking around. Just go ahead and do it. Just get it over with. Just get it over with. Oh, God. Uh, uh. Oh no. Huh! Dude, the, the suspense in this is freaking killing me right now. Like, it just. Nothing happens! Oh no. That's our TV. That's our freaking TV. Cable's expensive. Oh god. Oh no. You quit. Could you imagine? Oh, oh no. I used to tell myself that I wanted to learn how to lucid dream. And then I started reading about people who do lucid dreaming and how they sometimes experience this stuff. I don't want to ever. This is goddamn terrifying. Yes. Yes, it is. And you don't have a choice. I do. I'm doing this because... I don't know why I'm doing this anymore. Oh! Oh, God. The lights are going to cut all when you look to the right. It's going to be just right there in my face. I flippin' know it. Help! Oh, God. No. Oh. Dude, this is the worst. This is the worst thing I've ever played. My mouth hurts. Oh! It's right there. Oh. My lord. Go away, ma'am. I've done nothing to you. Oh, God. I don't even want to look away because it's going to be closer. Oh, my. It's standing right in front of me. Took you a little while to realize that. 
Oh, oh please. <laughs> I was here too. <laughs> oh, everything's dark. It's gonna scare me. Don't look. <gasps> I don't want to look in the closet. I'm gonna look to the right. Nothing's there. Oh, I can't help myself. Oh God, thank you. <laughs> Guys, I freaking hate this. This is the worst game I've ever played. It's because it's coming. I don't know when. Look up. Don't do it. Oh, God. Oh. <gasps> Man, from this angle, you look really hot. Oh, no. I want to wake up already. I'm so terrified right now. Please stop. Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, no. I thought it said an out of body experience. Oh. Oh, dude, this would suck so bad. Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh, God. Oh, it's on the ceiling. God. Oh. Oh, no. Please wake up. Wake up. Let me wake up. Let me wake up. Come on, we can do it. We can make it. We can make it work this out. She may be hot, but she's not gonna eat us. Let's go. Oh. Oh God, no. <gasps> What's happening? My body feels so light and floaty. Oh God, we're floating. She's got us. Don't do it. Oh. Oh, what do we do? Oh no. Oh God. Oh God, we gotta get out of here. We gotta find a way to wake up. What do we do? Oh God, please don't do it. Ah! Oh no. Stop. Oh god, I'm gonna turn around. It's gonna be standing there. This is the worst. Wake up, you asshole. Wake up. Oh. I don't know if I can actually, can I like interact with anything? Ah, ah, oh, oh my, go back to bed, go back to bed, go back to bed. Nope, don't look back, don't look back, screw that. Oh my God, dude, my whole body hurts. Go back to bed, go back to bed, go back to bed, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. It's right behind me. Oh. Oh. What the hell? That was so terrifying. Oh my god. <gasps> Almost didn't read that. Almost didn't read that. Oh. Two weeks later. Oh god. Maybe we should just drink a whole bunch. Finally, I finished my work. Did we ever buy a microwave? Wait, it's nighttime already? I lost track of time. Should I sleep now? No, wait, I forgot. I need to submit this report to the office tonight. Yes, cocaine. Cocaine and caffeine pills. I should go now so I can get home early. Yes. Yes. Pick up your bag and your report before going to work. My bag's over here. Look, our freaking plate's still sitting there from two weeks ago. It's kind of gross. That's kind of nasty. Did it say how to pick up my report? It did. Okay, go to work, go to work, go to work, go to work. I'm not looking in that bathroom. Nope. Nope. Oh, this place looks nice. We can just stay here. 
The office is so quiet at this hour. The night shift really helps me unwind from the stressful work. Yeah, I think maybe we should just sleep here. Got to use the PC and shift to exit. Where's my office? PC over here. How do I know which one's mine? Got dual monitors. This looks like how I started out. A laptop. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Press any key to log in. Enter. Ha! Ah! Okay, where are we going? Calculator, photo, downloads, email. Go to our notes. Oh god, we have a diary. Your diary. This is the first time I've experiencing something so terrifying, and I'm still shaken by it. I don't know what it is called, but whatever it was, I never want to go through it again. The memory of that creepy woman screaming in my face is burned into my mind, and it still sends chills down my spine every time I think about it. Her face pale, twisted, and filled with rage haunts me every night. I can't seem to escape it, no matter how hard I try. Every time I close my eyes, I see her, and the fear grips me all over again. I just hope that whatever that was, it never happens to me again. I don't think I can handle another night like that. My diary, too. Your diary. <laughs> Do people still write like that? For the second time, I've encountered that terrifying sleeping demon, and now I finally know what it is called. It's sleep paralysis, a condition where your mind is caught between being awake and asleep. I still don't fully understand how to explain it, but everything I saw that evening felt so real, as if it were truly happening to me. The fear was palpable, and it left me paralyzed, unable to escape the horrors unfolding before my eyes. It's hard to shake the feeling that it was all real, that those demons were actually there, lurking in the shadows of my mind. I know I need to find a way to stop this from happening, but I don't know where to start. Oh Lord, I'm so desperate for it to end. I'm terrified to even close my eyes now, fearing that the moment I do, I'll be dragged back into that nightmarish world. I just want to sleep peacefully again, without the dread of what awakes me in the dark. Oh God. Dear diary, the past two weeks was nothing but a nightmare. Every time I close my eyes, I'm met with the paralyzing fear that the demons in my sleep paralysis will return. It's as if they're waiting for the darkness to engulf me their twisted forms lurking just beyond the veil of sleep. I've tried to avoid it, staying up as late as possible, but the exhaustion is catching up with me. My body feels drained, like I'm running on fumes, and yet the fear of what awaits me in the dark keeps me from getting the rest I desperately need. I'm terrified of the night now. The moment the sun sets, a knot of anxiety twists in my stomach, knowing that sleep will bring those horrible visions. It's affecting my health in ways I didn't anticipate. I'm constantly fatigued, my head aches, and there's this deep sense of dread that follows me throughout the day. I don't know how much longer I can go on like this living in fear of something that only exists in the shadows of my mind, yet feels so painfully real. Dude, man, again, that would suck. You can use the built-in virtual assistant by talking to the mic. Hey, Corey. Oh, that's freaking awesome. Open the web browser. Let's go to our downloads. Oh no, looks like there's no internet connection. Check your net check your network or try again. Okay. Um just get out of this. Let's go down to Wi-Fi. Brief Oh, look at the crappy Wi-Fi. What do we do? Hey Corey. I need help. Uh we can't download anything. Ooh. How can we get into our email? Dear Mr. Kenneth, I hope this email finds you well. We are thrilled to inform you that after reviewing your application and portfolio, we would like to offer you a position as a freelancer with Freelance Movement. Your skills and experience are an excellent fit for our team, and we're excited to potentially have you on board. To move forward with the interview process, we need to ensure a few formalities are completed. Resignation letter. As per our company's policy, all potential freelancers are required to resign from their current employment before officially joining Freelance Movement. Please submit your resignation letter to your current employer at your earliest convenience. 
This step ensures there are no conflicts of interest and that you can fully dedicate your time and talent to our projects. We'll also need the following documents to proceed with your application. A scanned copy of a resignation letter, a copy of your government issue ID or passport, your most recent CV or your resume, portfolio or work samples if not already submitted. Please send these documents to us within the next five business days so we can schedule your interview and finalize your onboarding process. We understand that transitioning to a new opportunity is a significant step and we are here to support you throughout the process. Should you have any questions or concerns, do not hesitate to reach out to our HR department or directly to your recruitment coordinator. We look forward to your prompt response and are eager to welcome you into the freelance movement family. Best regards. Sarah H, HR. So we're looking for a new job. All right, that was this morning or yesterday or something. I don't know what time it is. Good day, Kenneth. Once you receive this email, please review the website our web developer has created. It's already been published online, so kindly check if the web page is functioning properly. Here's the domain, www.nextgensolutions.com. Thanks. Regards, CEO. But here's our application. Dear hiring manager, if she finds you well, my name is Kenneth. I'm writing to express my interest in joining freelance movement as a freelancer. With a background in game design, game development, graphic designs, web designs, 3D and 2D animations, etc., I'm eager to contribute my skills to your agency and collaborate on projects with clients who value quality and professionalism. Over the past five years, I've honed my expertise in graphic design and website design, working with my current company and successfully delivering projects that meet and exceed expectations. I'm particularly drawn to freelance movement due to your reputation for connecting talented freelancers with exciting opportunities. I am confident that my skills, coupled with my dedication to client satisfaction, would make me a valuable asset to your agency. I'm enthusiastic about the possibility of working with freelance movement and contributing to your team's success. I'm flexible with my availability and open to discussing any potential opportunities that align with my skill set. Thank you for considering my application. I look forward to the possibility of collaborating with freelance movement and helping your clients achieve their goals. Please feel free to contact me or reply to this email to discuss further. Best regards, Kenneth. That was professional. 12, 23, 20, 20. I'm a Nigerian prince and want to transfer $1,000 through your account. Now I'm good. Storyteller. Thank you for using Storyteller Bot. Can you tell me a story that can help me with my sleeping problem? Sure. Here's a short story that can help you with your sleeping problem. Once upon a time in a quiet village nestled between rolling hills, there was a small cottage with a lovely garden. In that cottage lived an old woman named Mira, known to everyone as the keeper of dreams. Every night the villagers would come to her with their worries, asking for remedies to help them sleep. One evening a young man named Lucas came to Mira, looking exhausted and weary. I haven't been able to sleep for days, he said. No matter what I do, I can't quiet my mind. Mira smiled gently and invited Lucas to sit in her garden. The sun was setting and the sky was painted with hues of orange and pink. As they sat on a bench, Mira handed him a small, soft pillow made from the finest silk. This is a dream pillow. Not to be confused with my pillow. She said it is filled with lavender and chamomile, herbs known for their calming properties. But the real magic lies in the story, I will tell you. Oh, I feel like I know this is about to go. Lucas leaned back, resting his head on the pillow as Mira began her tale. Once there was a mighty oak tree that stood in the heart of a dense forest. This oak had seen countless seasons come and go, and it was the protector of all the creatures that live beneath its branches. But even the oak, strong and wise as it was, needed rest. Every night, as the moon rose high in the sky, the oak would listen to the gentle whispers of the wind. The wind told stories of distant lands, of rivers that sparkled under the sun, and of birds that flew to the ends of the earth. As the oak listened, it felt its heavy branches relax, its leaves sway gently, and its roots sink deeper into the cool earth. One night, a little bird, unable to sleep, flew to the oak and asked, How do you find rest so easily, great oak? The oak replied, I listen to the world around me. I let go of the day's burdens and let the stories of the wind carry me to a place of peace. The bird tried this, listening to the rustling leaves, the distant calls of night creatures, in the soft hum of the forest. Soon, the bird felt its eyes grow heavy, its heart slow, and it felt, and it fell into a deep, restful sleep under the oak's protective branches. And so every night after, the little bird returned to the oak, listening to the whispers of the world until it found peace in slumber. As Mira finished her story, she noticed Luca's breath slowed and his eyes were closed. 
he'd fallen asleep, the dream pillow cradling his head, the gentle evening breeze carrying the whispers of the world around him. But as Lucas drifted deeper into sleep, something strange began to happen. The world around him seemed to shift. He found himself standing in the middle of the dense forest from Mira's story, right under the great oak tree. The air was cool, the ground soft beneath his feet, and the whispers of the wind were all around him. Confused but curious, Lucas approached the oak tree. The tree's bark was rough but warm to the touch as if it were alive in a way that was more than just the pulse of nature. He leaned in closer, trying to hear the stories the wind was whispering. Suddenly the oak's branches began to move, bending down toward Lucas. The leaves rustled louder and the whispers in the wind grew clearer. They weren't just the stories of distant lands. They were the voices of people. Familiar voices. Lucas heard his own name being called softly at first, then more urgently. He looked around, but there was no one in sight. Yoke's bark started to crack, revealing something beneath. Lucas watched in shock as a face, ancient and wise, emerged from the tree's trunk. It was the face of Mira, the keeper of the dreams. You've been here before, Lucas, the face in the tree whispered. Every night you come to me, seeking peace, seeking sleep, but you've forgotten why. The realization hit Lucas like a bolt of lightning. This wasn't just a story, this was his reality. He was trapped in the world of dreams, a place where he had come seeking solace but had lost himself along the way. Mira wasn't just the keeper of dreams, she was the guardian of this realm, and Lucas was one of the many souls who had become lost in the endless maze of dreams. You must remember, Mira's voice echoed through the forest. To escape, you must find the one thing you've forgotten, the key to walking your life. Panic set in as Lucas struggled to recall what he had forgotten. The forest seemed to close in around him, the trees whispering louder, urging him to remember. And then in a flash, it came to him, the one thing that had been missing. The one thought that could break the cycle. Lucas opened his eyes with a gasp, waking up in his bed, the dream pillow still under his head. He was back in the real world, the memory of the forest fading like mist in the morning sun. But he knew now knew that the keeper of dreams was real and that every night he ventured too far into her realm he risked forgetting the way back from that night on lucas never sought out the dream pillow again he learned to quiet his mind on his own to find peace without venturing too deep into the world of dreams always remembering the lesson of the oak tree and the keeper of dreams and so he slept not too deeply but just enough always aware of the fine line between dreams and reality. Wow, what a plot twist. I'm glad you liked the story. Let me know if you need any help. Thanks. Huh. Left behind playtest. Strain, strain dead. Can we watch these? Is that real? Okay, let's uh, they're not very long guys. Let's watch this one. Stranded.
like thou shall not kill. Let's do left behind. real games still have no dang internet oh my god guys i've been sitting here this whole time and i couldn't connect to the dang internet and it, it was all the free for all one okay so look at that take a look Want to try the downloadable items? We'll just hit the download now. Looks good. Seek. Oh. What? You've made significant contributions to the company, and I don't want to see you go. So let's make a deal. I'll promote you and increase your salary. Just don't leave, okay? We're all rooting for you. Anyway, make sure you drop the report on the meeting room table after that. You can go home. You know, we're all family here at this company. Thanks for staying. Holy crap. Guys, that took me forever to figure out. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm still deciding whether to resign or not. This job is so stressful, especially with the toxic environment here. Yeah, we even got a secret note. It's kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie though, guys. It took me forever to get out of that computer. And it took me forever to figure out how to get the freaking internet up and running. But we got to see a bunch of cool stuff in the process. Well, there's our report. I guess let's go home. We read a really cool story about sleeping. Maybe we can go home and fix that. What a hell of a commute. So traffic. I have no idea what that just said. Something about stinking. Turn all that back on. God, that fan freaks me out. I don't even like being home. I like going back to the office. Okay. It said something about being stinky. But I guess that means we're not going to take a shower. God, dude. The rooms are so dark. I should get some clothes and head shower okay so we go back into our closet and get clothes we just can't get them from that the clothes let's go shower Big deal. Everything is so dark. Our freaking bath has already run. Um, because yeah, we do that all the time, right? Oh, this feels so good. It's so warm and relaxing. Yeah, maybe we should take our pants off first. I mean, there's nobody here. Could you imagine if someone just walked through the front door? I've never felt this relaxed before. Please don't fall asleep inside the bath. Please don't fall asleep inside the bathtub. 
Oh god, no. Oh my god. Chapter 3. Who are you? <laughs> oh no. This would suck. This is like worse. Oh, what's happening? Wait. Oh no. No, 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 not again. F, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Oh my god, dude, this would suck. This would suck so bad. What do we do? We gotta try to find a way to get up. Oh! oh. Oh no. Oh god. She's gonna freaking drown us. She's gonna freaking drown us. Oh. Dude, this is, this is, oh god. This is the most uncomfortable I have ever been inside of a game. What do we do? What do we do? Look, we take our pants off. Oh god, she's right there. Oh, oh god, there she is again. Please stop. Leave me alone. I'm in my freaking bath, ma'am. I'm naked. Sort of. Ah! Oh god, what do we do? What do we do? What would you do? Have any of you ever, have any of, you ever experienced anything like this? If so, please let me know. I'd love to know your story. I'll freaking read it. I'll read it on the channel. Oh god. I don't know what to do, guys. Oh god, she's right there! Oh god. Oh. It's all about moving your head, and I don't like it. Last time she did this. Try to wake up. Yes, wake up. We can get it. We can get it. We can do it. We can beat it. We can beat it. We can... We can beat it. We can beat it. Oh. No, nope, we can't beat it. It's so hard to breathe. I know she's probably drowning you at this point. No. Oh. oh, God. Oh, ma'am. Stop. Don't come near me. Ma'am, please. Just. I'm naked. I'm naked. No, go away. She's gonna drown us, dude. She's gonna freaking drown us. It's, it's definitely being eaten alive, but this has got to be a close second. I've always looked into lucid dreaming and how you can do that, but the fact that this can happen to you while you're lucid dreaming, or at least I think that's what I've been reading, it's not to everybody. I, I know lucid dreaming is all about being able to control your dreams, but I have seen too many stories of where people couldn't wake up from that dream, and this is what happened. Hell no. Anyways, guys, gals, if you enjoy this content, you know what to do. Smash the like button, leave a small comment. If you haven't already, subscribed to the channel. There's all kind of ways you can support, and I just listed the free ones. If you want to support monetarily, by all means, we have a small store. Go check it out. It's quite possibly the maddest merch on YouTube. Anyways, it's enough talk. Guys, gals, thank you for watching. Stay frosty, stay mad.
and I'll see you all in the next one.